In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a new of the few options uh, in the soft selection tools within the Edit Poly. Um, so in this uh, object, I just had a plane, I added a wave, and then an Edit Poly modifier. And um, one thing you run into sometimes with the soft selection is if you turn it on and you don't have edge distance uh, selected, you'll notice that it'll actually kind of leap over. So it, 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 it picks the points within this distance of the point that you select. So if I select this point, this point over here will be part of the soft selection, even though these aren't because that point is closer than that point down there. Sometimes you don't want it to jump over geometry like that, and so if you if you want to constrain it to the geometry, to edges that are actually touching each other, you can select um, edge distance here, and then you can increase the amount of edges that, that um, are part of that selection, and then change the fall off distance, and you'll notice it's not jumping anymore over that canyon, it's selecting it just in contingent, or um, um, edges that are actually uh, joined with each other. So that's one really nice feature of it. Um, of course you can change the graph, so if you change the pinch, you know, you'll change the way that it's soft selecting. The other thing is I've, I've selected the shaded face toggle, which makes it a little easier to see. It turns the surface into gray, and it's really just a visual thing, but it makes it a little bit easier to see what it's actually selecting. So now when I move this point up, you can see it's actually moving it based on that graph there. So if I um, you know, change that pinch radius and I move it up now, it's going to um, take the form of that graph as well. Um, the other thing that's pretty nice with this, this toolkit here is that you can use paint. You can also select over here. Um, so for example, I can turn that uh, toggle on and off um, right there, or I can start to um, paint different selection areas. And you can see right now I actually have symmetry on. So um, uh, within this uh, thing over here, within the brush options, if you turn that on, I, I have a few options here. One of them is mirroring, and I'm mirroring it on the X. If I want to turn that off so I don't want to mirror it, you can turn that off and then um, just start to paint selections. And these selections, if you'll see if I go over them, they become stronger. So it's a really interesting way to kind of paint a soft selection onto a surface. Um, and you can notice in this case, the soft selection doesn't just happen at that one point I select, but also at whatever surfaces I paint. And then when I move these surfaces, or move those points, it'll adjust all of them according to that, that um, grid that I originally um, uh, set up over here on the right. 